Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, and uh, this is Revelation 12 and 9. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast into the earth and his angels were cast out with him all right uh and this is going back up to verse seven it says and there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found anymore in heaven all right and this scripture these scriptures uh just these scriptures these three scriptures alone have been widely misinterpreted throughout thousands of years to be that uh Satan has some type of rebellion of the angels in heaven and that the Lord kicked them out of heaven. Right? And that's not true. Okay. Because this is talking about, you know, going up, Revelation 12 is talking about the woman, the man child. Okay, then you got the dragon which is chasing them. That's talking about it's a lucky for the background noise, it's windy. But that's talking about Israel, okay? The woman being a representation of Israel. That's why she has 12 stars over her. All right, 12 stars represent the 12 tribes. All right, then you got the dragon, which that's representing the Roman Empire. Okay, the dragon chased the woman. You know, she, the woman has the man child, the man child being the, our Lord. All right, some, some people call him Christ or Jesus. That's not his name. His, we know his name in the pure Hebrew to be Yahweh Shah. All right, now this is talking about um, how basically Esau, Edom, his kingdom is going to be destroyed all right, when they go against Michael, when they go against angels, or when they go against the Lord during the time uh, uh, coming up shortly all right, when the Lord comes back on the scene. All right, when the Lord comes back to stop the, these, these Edomites from uh, pretty much trying to... Uh, complete their new world order all right that's why the scriptures say when they when they fill his belt when they, when they go to fill his belly yeah when they go to try to fill their belly they try to accomplish their enterprise the Lord is going to stop them all right and this, and these are his many names man the old serpent all right he's that crooked serpent yeah the devil all right yeah Satan the great adversary. All right, and right now they're deceiving the whole earth through many means, one of them being their uh, medical information, I'll put it like that. <laughs> All right, but then here what it says, his angels were cast out with him. Who was that talking about? Well, here's a precept for that. Um, this is Psalms 148 and 1. Because when it's talking about angels, it's talking about your armies, your hosts. It's, it's, it's the two are synonymous. It's Psalms 148 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Right, his angels, his hosts. What is that? You look that up. Hosts is what? That which goes, goes forth, army, war. Warfare, host. Yep, host of organized army, host of angels. All right, the two are the same. All right, the two are the same. And the Lord dispatches his his angels all across the earth. We have shit. We have angels watching over us now. All right, the scriptures tell us that it's it's uh you know basically it's. It talks about, it says seven angels, but it talks about a complete number of angels that the Lord has. Right? The Lord has angels. That's why it tells you, uh, it said there, there'd be more of us, there'd be more with us than with them. All right, so you got, you got, matter of fact, let's get that. Okay, this is Revelation 5. And we'll go straight to the point, verse 10. It said, it has made unto us have made us unto our, our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. 
Matter of fact, let's start at verse 9. And they sung a new song. This is about the elect saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. Oh, Salakia. This is talking about the angels. Salakia. Okay, matter of fact, verse 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty, twenty elders, which those are angels, fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, and a, a vial is a bowl, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to Most High by our by the by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation all right there you go so you got israel scattered among every kindred every tongue and every people and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth and i beheld and i heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands all right, thousands of thousands of angels, millions, <laughs> saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Exactly. Right, in the spiritual realm, you got, you got, it's a lot of angels. All right, but the point being, man, when it says Satan and his angels were cast out, it's talking about Esau. And his hosts, his armies, all right, the armies of Esau. All right, Jeremiah 15 and 23, it says, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations, right? And these these armies, man, which they have they have uh, bases in damn near every country, you know, or most countries, let me say it like that. Some countries, they have multiple bases. Yeah, they, they become the hammer of the whole earth. All right, they beat everybody up. That's why they celebrated so hard in Afghanistan when they finally left. All right, because they, they basically, they, those uh, Ishmaelites and sons of Ishmael, they, they took over every part of uh, Afghanistan where the, the armies were not at. All right, then they slowly crept into uh, Kabul. You know, that's where you saw the stuff with the, uh, the airport where people were jumping on the planes and shit, which a lot of them were... Ishmaelites who worked with uh, Esau and the, his different governments to uh, assist them, right? and they and they had to flee and get the fuck out of there because their own people were going, you know, put them to death for doing that. All right, this is uh, let's see, is that what? I, that's not what I want. This is Second Edges thirteen, and this is another account where they're going to. Uh, where, 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 where basically the armies go against the Lord. Okay, and this is 2nd Ezra 13 and verse 3. And a spirit like the wind, man. The wind just came out of nowhere. And I said, and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. All right, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth and the thousands of heaven, that's talking about the angels. All right, this is that this is that battle. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. All right, so you got the um, so you got these different armies in these different nations. All right, which are going to be assembled. We know over in uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, aka the the Gulf Coast. It says, and I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, it's talking about a chariot, and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo. All they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet durst fight. Okay, and all of them, that's, the, that's, that's what that's talking about, man. It's talking about those different uh, armies of, of uh, Esau, okay? Whether it be American Army or, or the UN, you know, the United Nations Army or whatever new army they come up with, 
whoever goes against and fights against the Lord, it tells you they're going to get burnt up and destroyed. All right. That's why this is a, you know, if you listening to these videos and you are in the military, you know, or you, or you even thinking about getting into the military, this is a bad time to do that. All right. Because the shit that's about to happen, you know, you about to go against heavenly forces, basically, man. A lot of these Israelite women, well, I won't even say that. A lot of these nigga women who signed up for the army and these different forces and, you know, they know how to use, uh, 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 you know, basically uh, female privilege, all right, for them to be, you know, not have to do any fighting or do the same service as the men, because right, that's a big thing in the army too. Uh, these women get all kind of benefits and care packages and if they get pregnant, they get time off and all this extra shit, all right? And they don't have to, you know, they, man, this shit is, is the shit is out of order, man. But yeah, a lot of these women who sign up for those benefits and be able to do that, they about to have to go and be shipped off, and they about to be sent against <laughs> the, their 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 own nation's savior, all right? And for that, they're gonna be destroyed, all right. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, yeah, another one, Daniel seven and seven. After this, I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. And that's what it's talking about. That iron, the iron teeth represents the military might. That represents the military might. That's why um, uh, uh, when he saw those, uh, uh, when, uh, when Daniel saw those toes, because he saw different parts of the. Uh, of the statue, all right. Let me see. I want to make sure I'm getting it right. I believe the the uh, the legs were made of iron, right? The le yeah, his his legs were iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. All right, and that's talking about uh, the nation. We're talking about the, the nations of uh, Esau, Edom right now, because you got some strong and some weak. All right, and then the the legs of iron. It's talking about the Roman Empire, all right? The legs of iron is the Roman Empire, the feet, uh, the, excuse me, the toes, the, well, yeah, the feet made of iron and clay. That's talking about, you know, the empire of today, all right? So Lord willing, this is edifying. Uh, just uh, something that I saw, you know, that uh, a lot of times, you know, you can get confused about or something. Lord willing, it's edifying. Shalom.